I've not made a video talking about Windows 11 on Surface Duo in a pretty good long while. Some things have changed. We have some updates to talk about. Let's jump into our uh, change log here. And in fact, we're going to actually look at something else first. We talked about in a prior video the dual booting capability where you could effectively boot into Android or Windows without having to use a computer to send a code over a DB. Now, to do this, you needed to make your own dual boot image based off of your Surface Duo. However, now that Duo has reached the end of life, no more updates from Microsoft are expected. What Gus has done here is they've actually provided their own dual boot images ready-made. And this assumes that you are on the most recent update. If you are and you fit the bill here, right, so you're not at and you can download this dual boot compatible image and then go through that setup process. Now, I will tell you, this is not a process I have attempted. I do not have a guide or a video on it. You're going to have to go to the GitHub and try and kind of figure out how to do that yourself. But those images, instead of having to make your own, Gus is now providing that image. If you are like me and you were not on the latest update and then you installed Ty's Android 13 Pixel Experience ROM, it's not going to work right for you either. So what you're going to have to do is sideload the official latest update and then you can actually, without rebooting, go ahead and then sideload and reinstall Ty's ROM. You won't lose any data that way, potentially, and you'll then be able to use this ready-made image as well. It's a little bit complicated, but apparently that's how that's supposed to work. As you can see here, I believe that is how I am interpreting that correctly. Now let's take a look at the change log here as well from this latest driver update. So first off, updates new system firmware binaries for Surface Duo 1 to the latest version ever for this device released by Microsoft. Again, we are done with over-the-air updates from Microsoft, so there you go. Uh, addresses an issue where audio peripherals such as mics or Bluetooth speakers be broken under Windows 10 version 2004 and lower. That is probably something that's a little bit niche, but maybe if you're looking to run an older version of Windows 10, that's going to help there. Enables support for the Surface Thunderbolt 4 docking accessory. That is absolutely awesome to see. Further work committed towards WCOS enablement. UEFI changes resolved an issue where the OS may crash and not boot properly on Windows 11, Moment 2, Moment 3, after installing the Black Lotus mitigation update. So trying to stay up to date with stuff that's happening in the Windows world. I imagine that's very, very difficult. And then there's also a bug fix resolving an issue where Windows 10 version 1809 and lower may fail to boot under the UEFI environment. And then, of course, we have your general improvements, stability improvements, general bug fixes. Now, with Duo 2, Gus says, nothing new. It's still a proof of concept. Don't expect much. All in all, I think it's great to see movement in general on this project. Again, we got to keep in mind, Gus is a human being with other things in their life. This is a hobby for them. Same thing goes with Ty. If we get, you know, impatient with updates coming out for these Windows and uh, Android 13 projects, we got to remind ourselves this is not their full-time job making these ROMs or porting Windows 11 over. They have a whole other life to live. So sometimes with independent development, you're going to see weeks or even months go by with nothing major happening. But when we get these updates... We're going to talk about them, we're going to be excited about them, and I'm going to bring them to you here on this channel. So guys, I'm going to drop a link, as usual, to the GitHub page for all of this stuff. I have a tutorial that is slightly outdated at this point, but it would still probably be somewhat useful. It would be in the playlist that this video is also in, guys. So check that stuff out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.